I spent a lot of money. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am very, very excited about this video. I held a poll on Instagram asking you guys what kind of haul you wanted to see. And the options were between ELF, Makeup Revolution, ColourPop, and doing my first high-end haul. And of course, you can tell by the title, you guys chose the high-end haul. And I'm so excited about that. It sort of gave me like a little bit of an excuse to splurge on some stuff I've been wanting really bad. I'll be putting the prices somewhere on the screen in case you're wondering how much everything costs and you want to know how much I spent. I'm going to do a little close-up of my face and I want you guys to let me know how much you think my face is worth right now. Alright, so I bought some things from Sephora and from Ulta, but the first thing I want to talk about is something that you've already heard about on my channel, and it is the Beauty Blender. This wasn't actually part of like this haul, I bought it as a separate thing, but I want to talk about this because it is high-end, and I 100% think it's worth the money. I think if something happened to mine, I would go buy another one. Also, I'm sorry, it's dirty. Okay, I just used it on my face today. But I do think this is completely worth the money. I think it is worth the hype. I think that you should go get one. <laughs> Alright, so I may have cheated, like, a little bit on this haul. I bought, like, some, like, minis of things because I didn't know if I was actually going to like the products or not. And I was scared to get, like, full size on a lot of things in case I didn't like it. And some of the full size is, like, 30 to 40 bucks. And so I just, you know, I wasn't comfortable spending that much money on something if I didn't know I was going to like it or not. So... Some of the stuff isn't actually full size. I'm sorry for that <laughs> if you don't like that. I'm going to start with talking about the products that are actually on my face, and then I'll tell you guys about the rest of the products I got. I did get like a few more things that I didn't use on my face today. The first thing I got is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It looks like this. This is one of the miniatures I got. I got it with a set of Too Faced miniatures. And I really like this primer. I probably will buy the full size of this, when I put it on, I wasn't expecting it to be so, like, watery and moisturizing, but it really, it's so moisturizing. I put on a moisturizer before this, and I really didn't need it. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is the Benefit Gimme Brow. I got mine in the shade 2. It said that shade 1 was more cool-toned, and that shade 2 was warm-toned, and I, my hair is pretty warm. So I thought that'd be better. Um, I'm a little bummed out, because... For me personally, I don't really like this product. I think it's a little too watery. I do really like the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara, so I thought I'd really like this because people kind of say that that's a dupe for this, but I don't think so at all. The NYX Tinted Brow Mascara is nowhere near as watery as this. I will keep using this, but I'll probably use it over my Revolution Brow Pomade because I just prefer that as a brow product. The next thing I got is another one of the Too Faced miniatures. It is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This looks like this. I've heard a lot of hype about this mascara being one of like the greatest mascaras ever. And you know what? It's pretty good. Um, I like it. I don't think it was like life changing or anything. But I think it was a good mascara. I will definitely continue to use it. Um, I don't know if it's as like amazing as everyone says it is. I don't really care for the applicator, like the applicator looks like this. Um, I don't really like the shape of it. I did notice that it made my lashes look really, really nice, so I'll keep using it. I mean, I really don't have anything bad to say about it, like, other than I personally don't like the applicator. That's not even bad. Alright, so the next thing I want to talk about is one of the things I was the most excited about, and that is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette looks like this. I was so excited about this product. This is, as soon as I decided I was going to do this high-end haul, this is the eyeshadow palette that I wanted. It's really pretty. I don't think that it, like, applies or looks like it's super expensive. I think the best thing about this palette is actually, like, the smell of it. I think it smells amazing. I think it's, like, an experience to put it on, like, I don't know why, like, it smells, it reminds me of hot chocolate, and I don't know if it's supposed to be chocolate scented, but it reminds me of hot chocolate, and I thought it was, like, kind of relaxing 
to put this eyeshadow on, if that makes any sense at all. I used the shades Charmer, Jet Setter, Smarty Pants, Flower Child, Funny Girl, Rebel, and Activist. I used all of those shades on my eye. And I don't really feel like my eyes look expensive, but this was definitely an expensive palette. But I really like it, and I will continue to use it. Um, I think it's a really pretty palette. I think it's worth the hype. I think if you guys feel like splurging on an eyeshadow palette with, like, neutrals, I think this is your gal. The next thing I want to talk about is this NARS blush in Sex Appeal. Okay. I don't know if you can really see the color very well. I thought this was going to be more of, like, a peachy color, and it wound up being more of, like, a bubblegum pink. But honestly, I think it's a beautiful, like, natural blush on me. I think it looks gorgeous. I definitely would continue to buy NARS blushes. Plus, like, this packaging is, like, so wonderful. It's, like, the ELF packaging, but, like, I don't know. It feels nice to touch. Is that weird? The next thing that I got is another miniature. I'm sorry. Um, it is the Hourglass Brilliant Strobe Light in Ambient. This is the highlighter that I have on today. And this... This could be one of my new favorite highlighters. It is, like, way more natural than what I'm used to, which is crazy because it was way more expensive than some blinding drugstore highlighters that I have. But it is very, very pretty. I definitely will continue to use it. It's probably going to become one of my favorites. I probably would buy more, like, miniatures. See, like, it's like a mirror, so I don't really put it up. The last thing I have on my face, this was something I bought in, like, a little, like, bundle. Um, is my lipstick. It is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Carmelo. I really, really like this lipstick. Um, it is a matte lipstick, but it's so, like, creamy. I feel like it isn't, like, emphasizing my cracks in my lips or anything. kind of just feels like nothing. Um, I did not pay, like, full price for this one specifically because, like I said, I bought it in, like, a bundle. But I probably would pay full price for another Stila lipstick because this is like a really good formula. Like, it feels really nice and it smells really good and the color is beautiful. Alright, so on to the other things I got. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the other lipsticks that I got. I got the Sephora Favorites Send Me Some Nude Lip, I think is what it's called. And I got the Stila one and then I also got this Huda Beauty lipstick in the shade Trendsetter, which is a full size, so is the Stila one, but also full size. Then I got three little tiny minis that are so cute. Um, I got the Buxom Lip Gloss in Dolly, little miniature lipstick. It's really cute. It's actually a really pretty color. I'm really happy that I like all of the lipstick colors that I got. I knew I would like a nude lip, that's why I went with that one. I got the Makeup Forever liquid matte in the shade Artist, I think, is the shade. Um, this one's way more of like a mauve. Then I also got this miniature Tarte Beach Babe lipstick. This one is so cute. Oh my goodness. Like this. I don't know if that focused or not, but... And then it looks like this. It is so cute! It's just the cutest little lipstick. Oh, it's kind of actually adorable. I got a Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Sellout. Looks like this. this is one of my Too Faced miniatures. I also got, now this is a mouthful, Too Faced Mascara Melt Off Cleansing Oil Waterproof Mascara Dissolver. Okay, that looks like this. I don't know if this works or not. I'm a little scared to try it, to be honest with you. And I also got the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil uh, Bronzer in Medium Deep. Okay, I clearly am not medium deep, so I actually will be selling this. It just looks like this. The outside's really cute. The whole, like, packaging for Too Faced is so cute, but I am not medium deep. Now, on to some swatches. Alright, these are the lipsticks I got. In order is the Huda Beauty one, the Too Faced Melted Matte Lip, the Stila Lipstick, the Buxom Lip Gloss, the Makeup Forever Mini Lipstick, and the Tarte Lipstick. All beautiful, like, nude shades. I can't wait to wear all of them. I honestly am in love with every single one of them, but my favorites are probably the Stila one, 
the Buxom, and the Tarte. Here is the Tarte Tarlet and Bloom eyeshadow palette swatches. Um, they're really pigmented, they're really beautiful neutrals. I definitely think if you're feeling like splurging that you should get this palette. It's a really good one. I just, I think I need to work with it a little bit more. Alright, so here is the Hourglass Highlighter in Ambient. It's gorgeous. It's, oh, I love this highlighter. It's very natural and it's like a, I don't know, kind of like a champagne color. I think it's really pretty and I love it. This is the NARS blush. I hope you can see it. It's like right here. Um, it's really pretty. Like I said, it's like a bubblegum pink and it's a matte. And I think it'd be great for like natural blush on like fair skin. I think it looks really nice on my face and I will continue to use it. This is one of my favorite things that I got as well as the highlighter. Alright, so that's all for this video. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!